Hey guys, now let's continue. Let's go to the cooking shit. The cooking show door. What's this? Welcome to Cooking uh, Without the Looking, fuck? the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Uh, Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Uh, Just go with it. Oh, um, hello, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh, greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? A cake. Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. No more than a dash of uranium pellets. They also go great in Chuck's mix. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And, through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous, delicious cake. Yummy. Ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Mm, that was interesting. I think we should go back to the office. I just don't see how you can sing and be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized minute. former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Oh, it's them. Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Sure. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? <sighs> well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly like how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing oh. contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Yay! Wow, this sucks. Hmm. Let's, let's check his notes. First Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Uh, Very impressive. Terrible. Okay, let's check the other door. Never going to be a millionaire. Look, Max, there's the door to Myra's set. Let's get in there uh, and liberate a literally guy? captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Hmm. Hugh Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? prismatology. Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Huh. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Uh... Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. 
<gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Because I do. He seems friendly. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre. No, mauve. Uh, bird sienna. Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Green. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. Whoa. I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? Uh, both. Say, you Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Uh, okay. Sure. Say, chocolate-covered puppies. Chocolate-covered chocolate puppies. puppies. So where's the picture, Magic Man? Oh my! I seem to have misplaced it. Hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> okay. This guy's creepier than the Saint John's from the Walking Dead game. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Um... Uh, yes? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> oh, boy. Yeah. Hubless is kind of... fucked up. We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! Uh, whoa. From somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? With special guest host, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max. Listen, Sam. They love us! Welcome! You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire! Start loading the armored cars, Hugh. Because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true! Ow! Okay, are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one! Okay. If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? Um... I'd have to guess... Patty Duke's evil twin cousin. Oh, so close. But no, you lose! Oh, fuck. This is an outrage. I demand a recount. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay. Find out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. Okay. We have to do something. Can you kiss? Hey, a perfect fit. Yeah, let's do this again. We've got another contestant. Hit it! Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. Okay, are you ready? The question is, am I blue? No. No, Hugh, you're not blue. 
Oh dear! Oh me, oh my! That's absolutely right! Yay! Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! Yes! So we will not be back after these messages. Whoa! What the fuck? Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. What? Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're uh, right over there. This is Hold on. just cheap. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. One, two, three. 174, 175, 999,999, and a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Well, maybe we can spend that Bosco and maybe get something from him. Well, let's go back to our street. Alien love triangle. That's just fucked up. Hmm, let's give her a photo of us. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial related photographic evidence. Sybil, that photo is a hoax. Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Oh. Sam and Max Shocker. Available at newsstands now. Okay, that was fast. Behaving now. Begin. It's Sam and Max. I saw you on the telly. How do you watch TV from in there? I've got monitors you don't even know about. Sure. Let's give you the full stamps. <laughs> we want to buy something. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, quite so, quite so. Voice we can one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps? I suppose I must accept them. Both the Dutch government conspiracy. It's hogwash! Complete codswallop! Here then is your chemical-based uh. voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works! Trust me, trust me! Sure. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a oh. 78 speed turntable. It works. Thanks, Bosco. Okay. Before we go back to the TV studio, let's put some ingredients on the cake. A little ketchup is always good on a cake. Sam? The TV studio, man. The TV studio. Goody!
Okay guys, we're gonna put it into this part. See you in the next part. Bye.